Mm, I'm really stretching my thumb's battery. Oh my god. Not battery, storage. Couldn't figure it out. So you know what I did? I googled the dictionary definition of a feminist just to make sure I was talking about the right thing. And do you know, sir, what the dictionary definition of a feminist is? I didn't either. Listen to this. Webster defines a feminist as a human being, not a woman, a human being that believes in equal rights for women. I'm shocked that that's what that meant. Because by that definition, I would consider myself a feminist. And I didn't even know that at the time. All these years, I thought it meant Frumpy Dyke. <laughs> this was always talking to me some chicken overalls. Men are trying to rape us. Ah, not you, bitch. Me, please. feminist movement. I do in my own ways. When you guys did the women's march, I tried to go and support you. And none of my friends would go with me. I asked all the fellas, none of them. I tried everything. Come on, y'all. It's going to be bitches there. They was like, nope. <laughs> so what I did is I called my friend Ange. Ange is a black woman who's a comedy writer, and she's dope. Matter of fact, matter of fact, she's the only woman that I know personally that pays her ex-husband alimony. And she sounds just like a man when she does it. Fuck that broke motherfucker and all that. She said all that shit. So I hit Ange up, and I, I hit her on the text. And all I did, I texted her, I said, Ange, are you going to the Women's March? A and she texted me back, and this is real text. She said, <laughs> she said, I hope those white bitches get tear gassed. What? There's a problem in that feminist movement, isn't there? From its inception in America, there's always been a racial component. When Susan B. Anthony was having that meeting and Sojourner Truth's black ass showed up. Read your history books. All the white women asked Sojourner Truth not to speak. They didn't want to conflate the issues of women's rights and slavery. Hmm. But you know how black bitches are. Sojourner Truth went up there anyway. <laughs> She did a famous speech. She said, ain't I a woman? Ain't I a woman? That's right. And, and listen, listen, listen. I, I supported the Me Too movement, but, but the whole time, the whole time, I thought that the way they handled that was stupid. Silence. It was. It was white. It was like... They were doing shit like going to the Golden Globes and, and all of them would be like, let's all go to the Golden Globes and wear black dresses. Give these men a piece of our mind. Bitch, that is not gonna work. You think Martin Luther King's gonna be like, I want everybody to keep riding the bus, but wear matching outfits. You gotta get off the bus and walk. It's real talk. Real talk, that was a silly movement. I want everybody to wear a crocheted pussy hat so they know we're serious. <laughs> what the fuck was y'all doing? And then I said something about it in one of my specials, and all these women actresses came after me. I said, man, fuck y'all too. You canceled. I ain't jerking off to none of your pictures again. <laughs> they were like, who is he to tell us anything? I'll tell you exactly who I am. I am the one that got off the bus and left $50 million on the bus and walked. I have 
agree with these women. I just didn't agree with what they were doing about. Right. I didn't get the fifty million dollar joke, so. Right. No, it was annoying as fuck. <laughs> because if these women were serious, you know what they would have done? They all would have fired their agents. And they would have went to the mailroom of one of these big agencies and found a woman that was busting her up in there and said, if you want to talk to us, then you have to talk to her. And if they did that, then she would be big and they would be big and nobody would get fed to Harvey Weinstein. But did they do that? No. Was that their idea? No. Surprisingly, it was mine. <laughs> what I think the feminist movement needs to be very successful is a male leader. <laughs> of course. I'll do it. <laughs> I will. I will lead you women to the promised land. Of course. I'll make sure you get equal pay, equal work. I will make sure that nobody harasses you or fucks with you on the job. I will protect all of your interests. And all that I ask for in return was that you suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're right back to square one, aren't we? What? What is a woman? What is that in this day and time? Is there even such thing as a woman or a man or anything? Hmm. Hmm. Seems to be a question nowadays. Now listen, women get mad at me. Gay people get mad at me. Lesbians get mad at me. But I'm going to tell you right now, this is true. These transgenders. These niggas want me dead. <laughs> Oh shit, you're gonna go there, aren't you? I've gone too far, I've said too much. And I gotta tell you, I'm very worried about it. I'm not even joking. Every time I come out on stage, I be scared. I be looking around the crowd, searching for knuckles and Adam's apples to see where the threats might be coming from. <laughs> A nigga came up to me on the street the other day. He said, careful, babe, they after you. I said, what? <laughs> One day or many days? <laughs> oh, that's good. say anything about that community, you must know, and I hope you all feel the same way, I am not indifferent to the suffering of someone else. There's laws, and mean laws, in our country, North Carolina passed a law once that said a person in North Carolina must use the restroom that corresponds with the gender they were assigned on their birth certificate. Fuck that shit, man. It's fucking horrible. No, 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 no. No, that's not a good law. That's a mean law. No American should have to present a birth certificate, take a shit at Walmart in Greensboro, North Carolina, where the baby shot and killed a motherfucker. I, I knew he built that bad up. <laughs> you have to ask yourself, when you're thinking about it, who are these laws designed to protect? Like, let's say they designed this law to protect me, my interests, transphobic comedian, <laughs> well, let's say that I'm, uh, I'm in Walmart uh, doing a little shopping with my family. Now, I should tell you, if that ever happens in real life, you should know that my dreams didn't work out. Wait, wait, what? Sorry, I, I, I don't know why I zoned out, but I can be it like, Let's say they designed this law to protect me, my interests, transphobic comedian, James Chappelle. Let's say that I'm, uh, I'm in Walmart uh, doing a little shopping with my family. Now, I should tell you, if that ever happens in real life, you should know that my dreams didn't work out. Sorry, I... I like, let's say I lose. designed this law to protect me, my interests, transphobic comedian, Dave Chappelle. 
Well, let's say that I'm, uh, I'm in Walmart uh, doing a little shopping with my family. Now, I should tell you, if that ever happens in real life, you should know. Sorry, I, 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 uh, just now, before. Let's say they designed this law to before the Walmart part. I transphobic guess. comedian. Focus. Dave Chappelle. Well, let's say that I'm, uh, I'm in Walmart uh, doing a little shopping with my family. Mm -hmm. Now, I should tell you, if that ever happens in real life, you should know. My dreams didn't work out. <laughs> Let's say something goes horribly wrong, and there I am in Walmart with the poor whites rummaging around for mediocre oh. goods and services. <laughs> and then I gotta go to the restroom. Sorry, now so, that I'm thinking about the joke, I didn't get the Walmart thing at first because I was like, wait, which part means your dreams didn't work out? Now that I get that's fucking funny. Excuse myself for my family, I go to the men's room. Now I'm standing at the urinal taking a leak. And, and and this is what this law is going to do. And suddenly, a woman walks into the men's room. And be like, That's strange. <laughs> and then she stands shoulder to shoulder with me at the urinal. I'm like, oh, bitch, what's going on with you? <laughs> and then she hikes her skirt up and pulls a real live meaty dick out. What do you think I'm gonna say? <sighs> Thank God she's in here with me. <laughs> At least now I know my family's safe. <laughs> mm -mm. No, I'm not gonna feel that way at all. I'm gonna feel very uncomfortable. I would feel better if it was a man with a vagina. Backed up to the urinal next to me. I wouldn't even think about that. I'd just be like, hmm, that's funny. This guy is peeing out of his butt for some reason. <laughs> oh my god, he must be a veteran. Thank you for your service. <laughs> oh god. Oh my. I'm not indifferent to people suffering because I know it's hard to be everybody. We blacks, we just got our first big holiday in a long time. Happy belated Juneteenth to the blacks. <laughs> Juneteenth is a strange holiday, isn't it? It commemorates the black people in the Texarkana area of the country first found out they were free. But remember, they were free when they found out. They just didn't know it yet. Very, very interesting holiday. You know, I learned something. This is a wild story. I learned this past Juneteenth of a story that's true, and is that there was a black man who was in South Carolina during slavery who somehow got granted his freedom by his so-called master. And when his master granted him the freedom, he also gave him a plot of land. Now, it turns out this brother was brilliant. A, a good, he had a good eye, a good knack for farming. And, and he farmed this plot of land very successfully and made a lot of money. And this is where the story gets crazy. Uh, when he got all that money, this nigga bought some slaves. <laughs> you ever heard this before? This is a true story. Not only was he a slave owner, he became a slave breeder and employed tactics that were so cruel, even white slave owners were like, Yo, my man. <laughs> He's a wild dude, but he did it just because that's what successful people did at the time. And he just wanted to be down. What a fucking tragedy. How could a person that went through slavery perpetrate the same evil on a person that looks just like him? It's mind-blowing. And, shockingly, they're making a movie about it. You know, it doesn't surprise me. Um... During the Holocaust, some of the worst debauchery that went on in the camp camps would be done by. Uh, pick my words carefully here. Um, capo or is it capo or capo? Uh, 
they were the prisoners that were in charge of other prisoners. Because the SS... With the war, it wasn't going their way. Um, the SS... Look, the point is, it was easier for prisoners to manage other prisoners. It wasn't always the case, though. Like, some... Like, My point is, the worst people can be is to themselves. Um, in Ireland, look how bad that was. Former Yugoslavia, look how terrible that was. Um, America, look how this is now. We, we, we are running people over in pro like running protesters over with our fucking cars. That's how bad this shit is. We're storming Capitol buildings because we can't fucking accept the results of an election. It's just insane. And again, we're so much crueler to our own than we are to our supposed enemies. Isn't that wild? 